Warning, this video contains excessive amounts of Priest gameplay. Viewer discretion is advised. Today is the last day for the giveaway that I have planned to see if we can reach 9,000 subs by the end of this month and we're still about 150, about 200 away. So today is the day. If you guys enjoy this content, if you want to see more stuff like this, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified about any of our future updates. I doubt this is possible now, but if there's some chance in hell to where we reach 10,000 subs by the end of today, then I'm giving away six mini set bundles. So tell your friends, play, tell anyone who plays Hearthstone to check out Clark Hellscream because most likely I've got a deck that they're going to fall in love with. But I know everyone's opinion on Priest, right? Priest is just not a fun class in Hearthstone, right? Well, in my opinion, I don't 100% agree with that. And that's because I absolutely love what APM Priest has to offer to Hearthstone. This is by far like the most fun deck because in my opinion, and this has nothing to do with Priest whatsoever, I believe the more Hearthstone cards that you play in, you know, a, in a game or in turn, the more fun that you're going to have. And this is one of those decks to where your, your speed is actually very important, okay? It's like Sonic the Hedgehog or Lightning McQueen. Speed is everything. Speed is life. And well, there's a lot of discrepancies right now talking about what the best list of this is so that's kind of what this video is for i'm not 100 percent sure what the best list is myself but i have been using this one right here and there's a reason for all these card inclusions although there's three different lists or uh, there's actually a couple different lists i'm going to show you guys today but the reason why we're running priestess valish is because this list is only caring about going into the frost dk matchup and if there's a possibility where like on turn six you have the combo and you need to pop it off otherwise you're going to die the next turn that is the reason why valish is in this deck and i will I will get to that clip here in a moment that showcases how exactly Valish can be good because the obvious synergy is what about Animate Dead? Animate Dead can bring back the Priestess Valish, so you really want to make sure you don't throw this out before it's absolutely necessary. Now, there is another list running on HS Replay that doesn't run Valish, but it runs another 3-drop, and I'm not sure if I can eat, if I can endorse this card either. Uh, the idea behind this, uh, you know, after you cast a Shadow Spell, to deal 2 damage to each hero. You can play. Uh, you can play this uh, after you've completed the uh, the sister battle cry. You get the uh, the vision of darknesses, and if you have all the radiant elementals, then each card you find is going to deal two damage to your opponent, right? Well, I mean, outside of dealing damage to yourself and always being paranoid about finding the healing, which really isn't that difficult if you're popping off the combo, this is just another disinterested card that really doesn't serve a whole lot of purpose and at least with Valish you have a reason to beat the best deck in the game. So I don't know if I can endorse this list right here. So what exactly is going on because I saw this list on HS Replay and to be honest when we go over to the HS Replay tab it's not gonna look that pretty. So here is the meta tab. I'm gonna make myself a little bit smaller and probably put myself over here because of how these stats work out. But if you look on the meta tab uh, at the, the diamond through legend rank you will notice that Sylvana Priest is yeah, and that, that, that tier four. It's it's not a good deck if you're uh, if you're not experienced with Hearthstone, uh, if you're not experienced with Priest decks, especially with APM, where you probably need you know at least like a mouse and keyboard in order to play the deck optimally. But if you go into top 1,000, it starts to get a little bit better. It starts to peak up into the not necessarily top of tier two, but it's almost sitting at a 50% win rate, almost around the same uh, win rate as Miracle Rogue actually, which I think is really surprising. But if you look at the decks that are popular in the Diamond through Legend, it, none of them none of them really seem that good. There are some people playing the Moarg Forge Fiends, which I would not recommend. Light Shower Elemental seems pretty decent until you look at the stats and you just realize that every list with Light Shower Elemental really just doesn't do anything. And I don't know if it's because of that key uh, five into six play that you can achieve with uh, Spirit Guide and the Sister. So I think that Spirit Guide is just a good way to co continuously draw cards and get those key cards that you need. And the stats seem to reflect that. Uh, but the, at Top Legend, it's a, it's a little bit different though. At Top Legend, you're seeing more of these Siphon lists and I, and I really don't understand why. I think, uh, yeah, there's two other lists that play Valish. One of them might be exactly my list, but I'm not seeing a Holy Smite in one of these lists. But another list that you could test out, in case you don't trust any of these, and honestly, I don't really trust a lot of them either, is uh, uh, Language Hacker's deck. He's running uh, the Light Shower Elemental, so he's not running uh, Spirit Guide, but he is running Cannibalize, he's running Devouring Plague. This deck runs a lot more heal and removal in order to deal with some of the meta decks that you might find on Ladder. And honestly, Language Hacker is a much better, much more superior deck builder than I am, so if he's saying to play this list, it might be worth running. However, I will, I will tempt you with Valish with one clip, so that way you guys can understand just how good of a, uh, a pop-off this can be. You're killing me here. 
Oh my god. Okay, so this is a way to maybe talk so turn about six. how this can be good. It's important to keep this in mind. It's turn six. Here we go. I had the nuts with coin. Oh, I should have I'm gonna see if I can't make this quality a little bit better. It kind of matters. Oh man, that's really the best. Oh man, Twitch. Gotta give me better, uh, better settings, man. But yeah, now that we, now that we, um, now we're fishing for the, uh, for the elemental, which we did not find. So now, if we want to continue this combo, we have to play Valish. So this is one of those things where it's like, I, guess, oh, I, I, I didn't want to do it, but a good thing it was there. Because now, if I get lucky enough, I said, if I get lucky I enough, I said, if I get lucky enough, oh my god, come on, dude. Yeah, I know, right? Come on, man. What, do I find the other one from my deck? I don't remember how this clip ends. Did I find the other one? Wow, I actually didn't find... I mean, okay, but if anything, this kind of proves my point a little bit more, right? Like, I was able to keep myself alive after for sure losing I mean, I because the Valish high roll was 100% necessary to give me more tools to not only heal other, myself, uh, but to remove that, uh, to remove those minions. Like and I believe if we skip ahead to the end of the game, I still didn't win this game anyway. Because it's very important to keep in mind that you need, you really need the triple value and unfortunately I didn't find my animate deads. But the point is that, uh, uh, the point is not about me winning. The point is, is that you saw right there, there's a situation where Valish actually can be useful, especially in the Frost DK matchup, if you get a little bit lucky. Unfortunately, that animate dead is kind of important, so it's a little bit unfortunate that things work the way that it does. But then that raises one more question. What about the mulligan? How exactly does the mulligan of this deck work out? Just just mulligan for switcheroo. It's, it's very simple. The, the mulligan of this deck is actually kind of interesting if we look at the stats. Because, and I'm just going to pull up a random deck. Because it actually says that you want to keep the minions more times than not. It's kind of funny how that works out. Like, look on the kept rate on all the minions except for Siphine. And just look at these stats on Siphine. Don't play Siphine. It's so bad right now. Uh, but, like, yeah. Illuminate, uh, I'm sorry. Switcheroo, Illuminate, Radiant Elemental, Sister, uh, uh, Thrive in the Shadows, uh, Amulet, and, and uh, Shards. So that way you can uh, Illuminate into uh, Tradable. That's the only reason why I think you would ever keep these cards in the Mulligan. Uh, Zarella is actually the best card in the entire deck so i would argue you should probably keep this card if you're going up against a death knight because it's really important for you to have a uh a desperate prayer or um some kind of uh healing play where's the yeah flash shield there we go or you can flash shield into zarella in order to get that keyboard clear like this card is going to be the reason you win a significant amount of your game so i would honestly just keep it as frequently as you can maybe that's not the best advice because the the kept win rate is only 55 but trust me this this card is the main thing i hate seeing as playing frost death knight and i've been playing a lot of frost death knight but I hope everyone found this extremely entertaining because this is probably one of the hardest decks in order to master. And it's not because uh, you don't know what the game plan is. It really comes down to the APM turns and being able to pick out the answers immediately. Because every second you waste is a second that you're not getting another resource. So I would highly recommend checking out the game clips coming up ahead. Check out Language Hacker's video which will be down in the description below in case you guys want even more gameplay highlighting this deck. Because I don't imagine this is going to get nerfed in any capacity. I don't think they're going to like touch this whatsoever once they deal with the top meta. This could very well become a competitively viable deck if it doesn't get touched and the nerf uh, and the nerfs around it uh defeat the, the decks that are on top right now so maybe learning apm priest is something that might be a valuable skill but at the same time there's rotation yada 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 there's all these things to keep in mind if you want to have fun with this apm priest check out the clips ahead see if you enjoy the deck and then make it yourself and see if you can achieve some kind of epic apm combo and make sure you got some good music in the background because it'll really uh it'll just really make make you feel like you're playing an epic deck and if you guys enjoy this kind of content, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified about any of our future updates. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this deck breakdown. Thank you guys so much preemptively for 9,000 subscribers, and we'll see you for the next video. Alright, speaking of, couldn't have been me playing Priest? <laughs> oh my god. But instead, I'm gonna just try and win with this deck. Like, in this matchup, I don't know if I want to keep Sister and Mulligan. I, I would always keep Kant, for example. But keeping Sister in this matchup might be a little bit dicey. He's totally got location if he's just throwing this out with all... Oh my god, only cards kept. Hit the minion, he just coins out the 4 or 5. We play this, he trades into it, we solve it with that. Then that is turn 4. 
Seems good enough. Okay. See, trying to think ahead. Yep, and there it is. The Citadel stands strong. Well, now if he does play it, I have an answer. Uh, we probably just gotta pick the animate dead. Thinking about our outs here, mate. Got spirit guide on turn five, but how are we gonna supplement our turn four? Oh, that's slightly annoying. I mean, isn't drawing a card kind of something that you want to do right now? This just doesn't really do anything. I mean, the, the advantage is you have a 2-2 two -two versus nothing, but I don't know. Maybe this was just a simple hero power turn. Is this three damage really that important? Oh, he kept the Th Thrasian? I mean, against Priest, that kind of makes sense. Not sure if I 100% agree with it. Oh my god, you're telling me if I would have kept Sister, I'd be high rolling right now? Oh my god, I should have kept the Sister. A bit late on that one. Nah, dude, it's right. I still, I, I misplayed this game. I threw away the sister. I actually think the sister has a high mulligan win rate, right? Yeah, dude. Sylvanas actually got a really high kept win rate. 84%. Not the greatest mulligan win rate, but it's like, if I had it right now, dude, we'd be rolling. Didn't even draw switcheroo either. Never lackey. Oh, there she is. Oh, but it's going to be one turn behind. Still what I got to do, though. So I heal, draw the card. I could Identity Theft, see what's coming. Phrasing bow! I don't think I want to use the Light of Burns right now. Ooh, Frostworm Fury. That's pretty good. Followed by Horn of Winter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, definitely the pick, but hold on a minute. So now I could do this into boop, boop, boop. If I end up top decking the other Radiant, we have everything that we need to start going. But it's probably going to be another turn before that happens. So we probably just leave in the hero power while we can. And just chill. Okay, here we go. Not going for the finish. Dude, I was playing a bunch of Frosty Came here the other day. Uh, and I ended up peaking at 85, but then like the last two hours of my grind, I fell hard. I fell to like uh, 185 or something like that. Because they always have this on turn six. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Shara the Naru, not what I need. So we probably freeze. Then we sister. Bring this back. Try to find the other animate dead, or maybe we high roll. Yeah. Yeah, for a final, it was also one of those things to where, like, I didn't want to only play Frost DK. Like, I could probably try, but I'm not sure if I really want to only do that. Uh, yeah, I think it's Freeze, Hail Mary, go in. Because, like, I could do this and heal 10, but then all of this is just, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to win if that happens. The baby shouted the saddest awe so far when you said that you declined, almost like she, he understood you. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know what? I'll put a poll here pretty soon to see how many people really don't want to watch Frost DK because I'm fine with playing it and trying to, like, actually win. But, yeah, that's that's my explanation on that. Okay, come on. Hope and pray. Hope and pray. Hope and pray. I am so good. Rolling up the sleeves. Okay, let's start playing some cards. Uh, so Devour goes here. Uh, this goes here. Mind shear this. Play that there. Just got more cards. Officially come back. I have not, I'm not getting any animate deads though. What's going on with that? What's what's up with that? What's up with that? What's my last card? Animate dead? Void shard? Good enough. Woo! 
All I needed was the one animate dead. You know, so, you know what? Yeah, Zarella might have technically been the way to go because if I would have missed this, I would have automatically lost, right? Face you uh, yesterday, last night, it was like 5 a.m. for me and I made the dumbest misplay I can. I think you were also the last person that I fought uh, yesterday, 21. Did I record that game? It doesn't look like I was recording my stats la uh, last night. Yes, yeah, so around here. Went up against Ike. Yeah, it must have been before I was tracking my games because I played a lot of Hearthstone yesterday. I was playing a lot of Hearthstone yesterday. Okay, this is yeah, this is GG, dude. Let's find the let's find the easy win. I'm confident. I don't I don't need all the mana. He says, stopping his turn. <laughs> Mine shears three. I somehow need to get six. <laughs> come on. Where? Oh my god. Come on, dude. Now, now the Void Shard does it. Now the Void Shard actually does it. Where is it, dude? Do I have damage in my deck? I do not. Come on, one damage. I'm what? One damage! One damage! One damage! Where, where, where be the... One damage! Oh my god. Damn it, I'm not gonna get it now. Where is it? And, yep, yeah, okay, we could've found it there. Oh, I tried, dude. Oh, this this deck is so limiting. Kind of happy about that, but I mean, hey, identity theft into stealing their mana sheet was crucial to win. I'm playing this well, by the way. Oh man, you should have seen me earlier. You should have seen me earlier, dude. I was not playing this deck very well. This is the first good game we've had with Priest, and I've been playing for two and a half hours. Okay, do I ever keep this against Quest? Dealing with Panther? Hmm. No, I would just need to find the uh, the light it burns. All right, we're gonna learn our lesson. Keep the Savannah. I don't have enough mana. Ah. All right, I got I gotta point out, dude. So, it's been about an hour since I finished this Rogue Energy Drink, and I don't feel jitters. I actually feel like pretty uh, collective. Outside of like you know, feeling like I'm not drinking enough water. <laughs> oh wait a minute, he's not playing Quest. He's playing Renifal. So I guess I'm gonna go with Illuminate. Yeah, let's go with the Illuminate. Yo, jeez licks! Keep up the great <laughs> stream, man. Dude, Cheers. thank you so much for the support. Thank you for the Prime. For two months, welcome back to the Horde, soon to be ref uh, soon to be rebranded into the Scourge. When, uh, whenever my lawyers stop being lazy, because I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing at this point. They're just, you know, they don't want to work with me for whatever reason. But, in, but for now, we're just gonna steal some mana ramp? Okay! Steal some mana ramp? Hold on a minute. Uh, so we're gonna pick Wild Growth. And... Spammy? Spammy's not bad, actually. Yeah, I'll go ahead and Spammy. Okay, cool. Hope you're having a great time, and thank you for the, uh, for the motivation. All you guys being here right now definitely motivate me. As we build up our Cambo. I saw someone use Siphine in this deck, uh, so if you have health uh, lead, you just win with the APM setup. See, I, I, I haven't noticed the Siphine, but I don't know how much I like it. Like, maybe it is the way. Does it does it ruin the animations? I guess I should technically try it. You know, if I'm gonna do a video on this deck, I should technically try it. Maybe I'll take out- yeah, I'll take out the Valish for it. Valish is really not really- it's not really been helpful. It's helped me one game out of, like, 20. And that's not a reason to run a card. Okay. She's not undead. Oh, she is undead. Okay, so this means this will be one. Darkness. Oh, there, there she is. I'm gonna pick Animate Dead, I think. No, I'm gonna pick the Radiant. I was about to be like, I can find Switcheroo, but I can also find Thrives or the other Illuminate. Plus, I could just do this to find more of them if I'm really that much of a pinch for them. I'm gonna do this. I was thinking about playing Identity Theft, but I really want to find the cards I want. I can trade Amulets. 
And there's Switcheroo. Next turn, I can throw this out, do that. So we'll just heal up. Yeah. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Shame on you, shame on you now. Cream silver seas. Like, I, I, as much as I hate going up against this deck, you gotta admit, this is a fun deck to play if you like APM based gaming. I will never not enjoy an APM deck, no matter what. Especially when it's like a high skill cap deck where it's like every decision per second is super important. Okay, there's the other one. Am I just discovering cards now? Switcheroo draws guide. I kind of want that still. I could try to roll it again. But in all honesty, we could just start the combo next turn. I think I want to try and do this and see what's in hand. Not fun to play against. Very fun to play. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I hate to be one of those people, but that is kind of true. I'm just going to try and roll another animate dead. The, the more animate deads we get, the more likely we win, right? Drown? Sure. I mean, I'm not going to lie, dude. Like, okay, you want to know what I love about APM decks? Like, put on a metal track, play, a, play an APM deck where you're, like, going as fast as the music is, and tell me you're not enjoying yourself, even if you win or not. It's just really fun to do that. Saw your tweet, Clark. Sorry if I uh, gave you PTSD with Nox, Undertaker, Dex, and Mysterious Challenger. Oh, not at all, dude. With uh, Undertaker, Dex, that will definitely bring back the PTSD. But Mysterious Challenger? No, I love that card. I was I was a, uh, a filthy Secret Paladin player. That was probably, like, the reason why I got my Golden Paladin. Okay, we're gonna have to pop off, aren't we? Honestly, I could Spirit Guide and Drown. Try to draw the animate deads that are in our deck. I get one more turn to just like kind of just chill before I try to do this. Make some space in my hand. I really need to find the third elemental. So I think this additional mana might really be important. I'm gonna really be scared if I have to use the Lish. I think Secret Paladin is the reason for the most golden portions in the game, apart from Livrum Paladin, that is. I mean, what about, you know, Face Hunter? Face Hunter has always been an easy excuse to get, um, to get it. And then there were the people that got, you know, Golden Mage during the Mech Mage. Oh god, he's got 18 mana, dude. Am I gonna be able to outvalue this nonsense? Illuminate? Oh god. Okay, don't mill, uh, don't mill Animate Dead. Oh wait, it's at the bottom of my deck! Oh, I'm a genius! Oh, I'm a genius! Oh, I'm so good! That'll be healing. That's more healing. I can now clear with, um, with Zyrella. So we'll just focus on resources. trade that next turn. Okay, now I can use this instead of this. Bingo, baby. Um, now I'll throw out the Zarella because we've healed enough. Probably throw out the Void Shard next, uh, next throw. Oh my god, let's go. GG. One more for good luck. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe one more. Can I fit one more? Easy. Oh my god, let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> APM gaming, dude! I will never die! Yeah, what would be- you know- I, no, 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 I, I know a good one. I know a good one. Is it the remix? Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> yes, it is that important. Music is everything to me. See what I mean?
Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, I should have I should have picked uh, amulet there. Literally can spend eight man on that and not be upset. Oh, I, damn it! Oh, whatever. That is so funny, dude. <laughs> I don't think I like you. <laughs> you can go make coffee while we go through the animations. Ah, uh, maybe I should whip up another rogue energy. Oh, so adorable. If only you could give me a whelp. Yeah, this would be a situation where it's like, I don't know about the, um, I don't know about the, 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 the Psylocke or whatever. Because, like, if I had it here, like, yeah, it'd be really cool to do this, but am I going to be able to actually kill him through the armor? Is it just better to just infinite value? It still just might be better for infinite value. Okay, so first we'll start with killing that, and then we'll call the grave. Well, actually, I guess we start with this first, but still. Yeah, nice 20 mana, dude. So one, kill that, call the grave into like, Amida, oh my dear god. Buy another animate dead. Kind of worried about accidentally casting Valish. <laughs> Need to make room in my hand somehow. Oh my god, I can't I can't be stopped. I quite literally cannot be stopped. <laughs> oh god, APM. APN <laughs> I will never die. I will never die. Ah. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have technically played the amulet. But I don't care, dude. But this guy's playing Ramp Druid. Why are we playing Ramp Druid? It hasn't been this bad in so long. What, are you gonna draw the Horseman? I could debatably even take that from you. Um, Devourer? Is he thinking about Devourer? He's thinking about devouring the Midas. Oh my god, that's so funny. That's so funny, dude. Now you're gonna kill the 5-5, five five, right? Board space is actually gonna be kind of an issue, dude. Is this a holy card? Oh my god, it is a holy card. Let's go. Let's go, Mita! Oh shit. I kind of want that. I kind of wanted those cards. Fuck it, we're going in. We're cooking. Wow, okay. Uh, What if we end up going to the turn limit? I told you we're cooking. Rest easy, child. You are safe now. Oh. 
Come on, another animate. Okay, I have one animate dead. I maybe shouldn't have picked, uh, I should, maybe shouldn't have played another one. I, I want it so badly to happen, but I don't know if we're gonna have the tools for it. Like, I need to kill the boar, bring it back with, like, an animate dead, and then hope I just keep bringing back boars, and then the amulets of the Adyne can bring back the boars, and then maybe I can make it happen. Dude, if I pop this off, I'm not I'm not talking about Psylocke or Psyfiend or whatever it's called. Okay, one, two. Sure. Is this it? Is this all for 20 mana? Is this all you're doing? This is the weirdest game I think I've played this season. Okay. Another spammy? Oh my god, let's go. Cooking. Cooking time! Oh god, uh, we're drowning this. We're doing it. I gotta go faster. I don't have cards that- I gotta stop picking this. I'm so good! He's actually scared of the boar. Now I can mill amulets, dude. Oh god. Ah! I, I I gotta keep in mind about that, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And now I don't have. Oh my god. I don't have um. What's it called? Uh, animate deads anymore. Oh god. 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 I owe you one. Nani? Bran? Am I really getting asked, Lord? I'm getting asked, Lord. Wait. You don't have brand though. Kek W order this moron. <laughs> Did you forget the part where your brain dies? Hello, you have lethal there. You. Um. Okay. I've been saying moron a lot recently, but that was a really moronic play. <laughs> we shouldn't have won that game. You know what we do? <laughs> Justified! <laughs> After all that suffering, he had a legitimate way to win. But it didn't matter. Um, dude, we were cooking that entire game. And he literally had a way to just like put me out of business. We can we seriously rank up twice with that? My god, we played so much Hearthstone that game. God damn, let's go, dude. Fried their brain with the holy light. Yeah, dude. <laughs>